What is up guys, DT Ninja here to bring you my Collections 2017 Part 2. This is of anime, manga, and special collections. Now before I even get to that, I wanted to share uh, my entire collection from last week. Now I'm referring to my keychains, my figures, my posters, and the special cards that I didn't even have but now I have so I spread them out all so you guys can see all at once my collection I'm not gonna go over in detail I'm just gonna show you exactly what I have so let's let's take a look uh, over here so as you guys can see a uh, bunch of posters here Naruto and Boruto related uh, some Shokugeki no Soma some Boruto here, and here are those special cards that I was talking about uh, with Itachi and Shisui, Boruto, Naruto, Itachi and Kakashi. So, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I've already showed you these. Like I said, this is basically just a look at my collection. Here are some figures uh, in Naruto and Kenshin, Hinata, and Naruto the Last. Uh, you got Conan as Kaito Kid, you have those Ban Presto, Naruto Hokage, Sasuke, and Naruto and Hinata from the last, and here are some keychains, uh, these are from Detective Conan, you guys can see these are the Boruto ones, these are my newest ones guys, I can, I can show you exactly, uh, let me get in here, you can see it's uh, Boruto and uh, Sasuke there. This one's really cool. This one's Boruto, uh, Sasuke and Naruto, but Naruto is uh, in uh, the Karama mode, really cool one. And then you got the one where Sasuke saves his daughter, uh, and I showed you a picture of it. But yeah, those are my new ones, and here's my entire collection uh, from last week. So, Alright guys, so there's one more thing. Uh, this was that uh, coaster I was talking about with Sakura on it. Uh, it's pretty neat, and like I said, it's very useful. And, and it came with that figure that I showed you before, but that's that coaster. So that's the last piece of Naruto, uh, you know, collectible that I have. So, let's get to the manga and the anime. Alright guys, I'm back, and I set up all my manga so you guys can see it. Uh, hopefully they don't fall over. They kind of look like dominoes, I'm not gonna lie. Like, one wrong step, and they could all fall off the, the desk. So, hopefully they don't. I set it up where my anime is kind of propped up next to them. So, hopefully they don't fall over. But let's take a look at what I got. As you can see, there's a lot of books around here. And that's what I meant by stacking them up and falling like dominoes. All the way over here, starting here with the manga, we have Boku no Hero Academia. You can see, obviously, that's Volume 1 and Volume 2, uh, where it says JC Comics. This one is Air Gear, Volume 10. It's a Korean version. And this is New Prince of Tennis. Uh, you can see Ryoma there. Uh, volumes 15, 16, and 17. I follow this series. Uh, sadly, in uh, the English translations, have not really caught up very well. But it's still an enjoyable series. I enjoy it. Uh, I haven't collected a whole lot, but I started a collection, so uh, yeah, I will show you my uh, original Prince of Tennis uh, uh, collection here, so take a look. Alright guys, so as you can see, I collected a lot from Prince of Tennis. Those are all DVDs that I personally made. Yeah, so. Okay, here's the next one. Uh, Shokugeki no Soma. Yo, you can see Erina there in her robe there. That's the special edition, uh, volume 24. You can see her in volume 2, 3, 6, 12, 15. These are very selective. I, I was very selective in my volumes that I bought. And then here, the Japanese volumes, you can see volume 14 with Shinomiya, 16 with Azami, 
there's 21 with uh, Soma there, and then 20 is next to uh, the little Erina, you know, her backstory. And then you got Shinomiya's story, uh, the side story, El Toyel, I think it's it's French. El to Toil, I think it is. El to Toil. It's volume two, so that's my Soma collection. Uh, I don't have a lot of volumes, but I do enjoy Soma, and I enjoy these selective volumes that I've chosen. I would like to, you know, expand my volumes, uh, but this is what I got so far. Okay, guys, now let's look at my next part, which is Bleach. Okay, if you guys can see this, this is Coma Bleach. You can see it right here. The small Ichigo, you know, it almost looks like a comedic version of Ichigo, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, there's a lot of comedy in it. It reminds me of Rock Lee's Adventures of Naruto Buffer Bleach. So there's a lot of comedy jokes, along stuff along those lines. And then here are the original Bleach, uh, you know, JC Comics. Uh, you can see this volume 19, Ichigo versus Byakuya. You got volume 25, Ichigo versus Ichigo when he's a hollow. You got volume 34, and you can see there is Neliel, yes. And then volume 36, Turn Back the Pendulum uh, with Shinji and Aizen. And then volume 37 and 48, yes, that's Aizen versus Ichigo and Gin and Matsumoto's story. Uh, volume 57, that's Byakuya's supposed death. Uh, volume 60 is the backstory of Ishin and his, uh, his uh, you know, uh, Ichigo's mom. And volume 68 is uh, the Blood War arc. Uh, 69 and 70 are Basby and Hashwal. Yo, these are freaking epic volumes. I don't care what anybody says. The backstory of Hashwal and Baz B was awesome. Sadly, the uh, you know the action and stuff like that, besides that story, you know, lacked. But their their specific story was really awesome. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and really sad one too. Uh, volume seventy one, you can see uh, Nemu Chan there. Uh, seventy two, you can see uh, it's Udiu. Seventy three is um, Renji Abarai, and seventy four is the final volume of Bleach, uh, which is you know homage to the first volume, which has Ichigo and Rukia on it. So that's my Bleach uh, collection. And if you guys want to see my entire collection, take a look at this because this is what I've collected. Alright guys, so that's my collection back home at my parents' house. This is my collection here in Korea. So that gives you an idea of how much stuff I have. Okay, moving on to Naruto. Okay, so we're starting with Volume 72, Special Edition. I showed you that one already. Uh, this one is a really cool one. This is Naruto Volume 5 Special Jump Remix. So basically this has 800 pages or so inside Volume 5. So it's got like three volumes in one. And you can see Gara on the cover there. Really awesome. So obviously Naruto versus Gara in the tuning exams. And then you can see this is Volume 70. Uh, you know where Naruto and Sasuke meet the Sage of Six Paths. And then uh, this is 71. In 72, the final volume of Naruto. Uh, this is Naruto Gaiden. You can see there. Sadada's story. Uh, this is Boruto. Boruto, volume 1, volume 2, volume 3. And then this is Sasuke Sharingan. Sasuke Sharingan Den. It is the S uh, Sasuke story uh, by Tyra Sensei. And now it's, it's, it's more of a comedy. I really enjoy his comedy. Uh, he did Rock Lee's. So it's basically the same thing, but with Sasuke as the main character. Uh, and here is the final volume of Rock Lee's. Uh, this is actually in Korean, and this is volume 7. You see Sakura there. Uh, but yeah, this one is really cool because the cover has everyone on it. Now, let's see if I can pull it out without screwing everything up. But yeah, you can see everyone is on the cover of this one. Uh, and Tyra has a unique style of drawing the characters. In fact, his style is shown in the final 
in the final um, volume of Naruto and it's showing uh, a bunch of other characters. In fact, there's a Boruto series by Taira Sensei now. So uh, it hasn't been released uh, a volume or anything like that, but they did do a Road to Boruto uh, with his work in it. I want you guys to take a look at my full collection of Naruto uh, back home. So yeah, take a look at this. Okay, next we have Kenshin, okay? This is Special Edition Volume 1. So there's some color uh, scans in here, and this is uh, the original of a Special Edition. So it's larger, as you can see, larger. Uh, when you pull it out, this is what it looks like. Uh, and the dominoes almost fell over. So <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> okay, so let's try this again. Okay, volume three I have. And this is with Aoshi and uh, Kenshin's fight. And then volume eight has Aoshi on the cover. Let's see if I can pull it out without screwing. And then volume 11. This is in the Shisho arc in Kyoto. And then one of my favorites has, yes, the Tenken, Sojiro, the Tenken, as well as the final battle with Shishio. Uh, that's volume 13. And then we go back to the original volumes, uh, not the special edition. This is volume 24, volume 25, volume 27, and of course, the finale volume of Kenshin. Now, we all know Kenshin is coming back in the Hokkaido coming soon, probably in September, uh, maybe October, but anyway, the new arc is coming, so it's not complete, but yeah, I have a huge collection uh, of Kenshin, so take a look at my full collection of Kenshin. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is, uh, this is a special uh, remake, restoration, uh, Kenshin restoration, it was made for uh, once the movie came out, the live action movie came out. Here both wrote and uh, illustrated together so really cool stuff and obviously the new Hokkaido arc is also going to be a collaboration between the two okay so I want to show you what my Kenshin collection used to look like because I used to have them a lot of them I used to have a lot of them and when I got rid of them I regretted it I regretted it a lot so this is why I recollected everything and this is what it used to look like and I kept the picture because it's really cool so take a look alright guys so you can see it was really nice it was really nice I pretty much had everything uh, but now I own a lot of the Japanese the, the special editions so I, I am happy with my collection. Okay, moving on. This is my Detective Conan collection. Now, a lot of my Conan is in Korean. So, as you can see, these are actually special edition uh, ones that are specifically different things. So, like this, this red one here. This one is Romance Edition. So, every chapter that has romance... Uh, not every chapter, but specific cases that have romance in it, it will show the manga. So, like, part of the chapters will be shown. So, actually, the manga are in here. And it's in Korean. Uh, this is the Black Organization. So, anything related to the Black Organization, which is one of the main plots of Detective Conan, it has a lot of chapters in here. And, again, they're in Korean. But you can't find these in America. And they are in Japanese. Uh, but I couldn't find them, so when I found them here in Korea, I had to get them. So yeah, these are some of my uh, collection. Okay, and here's Kaito Kid Edition. So everything with Kaito Kid, there are manga uh, chapters with Kaito Kid. So they are also shown. And as you can see, there's the cover uh, there with Kaito Kid. Okay, now moving on to my actual volumes. Okay, so here are the volumes 
that I have currently here in Korea. So in the last year or so, I've collected these 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, and 92. Now, 92 is definitely one of my favorite volumes of the year because it has the a backstory of Chinichi and Akai. Uh, which is one of the FBI agents that is really badass in the series. So, yeah. Um, 90 was also really good, but I really love 92. So these are my Conan. Uh, now, I do have a lot of Conan back home at my parents' house and in my rooms, and I basically stored away. So I'm going to share those with you guys. So take a look. Alright, so as you can see, I own a lot of Conan. A lot of Conan. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, so the last thing we're going to look at is my newest edition, and that is Koa no Katachi. Koa no Katachi. This is volume two. You can see Shoya and Shoko there. And yeah, this is a really great story uh, about, uh, you know, a guy who's about to commit suicide and he bullied this girl in elementary school and he tries to make amends and try to make his, her life better so it's really really touching story I have the anime as well the the DVD for the movie but yeah this is my volume 2 okay let's move on to my anime uh, because then we'll move on to novels and special collections so uh, just speaking of Koen no Katachi, this is my blu-ray of Koen no Katachi, so I've shown you this already. Uh, this is the Japanese version. My next one is Detective Conan. Okay, now hopefully these don't go flying everywhere. Uh, Detective Conan, this is from the original series. Uh, I bought this in Japan when I was there. Uh, it's a, it's actually a pretty good deal. Uh, as you can see, they have the black organization. So, and inside, this is what it looks like inside. So yeah, that's Detective Conan. That's one DVD. And then, oh, I think I already showed you that. Um, my other Detective Conan is The Secret Files. Secret Files 2. And it's just like the same. There's a lot of stuff. You can see Kaito Kid there. And yeah, I bought this one in Japan as well. When I was in Japan. So yeah, really cool stuff. I think that's an OVA actually. So, yeah, those two things, and my final Detective Conan one is the movie. I have the first movie. This is the first movie. Now, this one is great because it has Japanese, English, and Korean. It has all three. Anyways, this is my first uh, movie of Detective Conan. Really good one. Um, okay, so that's pretty much... Uh, my my DVD collection. Although I do have Slam Dunk the whole series, I have Slam Dunk the entire series. As you can see, it says 105 episodes, 22 DVD box set. Uh, this was really good, like a really good deal. So I had to get this, and it's a legendary series, you know, Slam Dunk, a uh, really good series. I have yet to watch it though, but I will. Um, but yeah, that's that's my uh, anime. Uh, let's go on to special collections now, guys. Uh, so, speaking of DVDs, I have the Jump For You DVD of Nobuhiro Watsuki's Roroni Kenshin. So, uh, when you buy the special uh, Jump For You, you get his, you know, in-depth interview and his uh, drawing of Kenshin. So, basically... This is the uh, the tutorial of his drawing and some techniques of manga, uh, you know, artists, and as well as you know some some artwork. So there's my Kenshin right there. Sorry about the light there, guys. I guess it's just a you know, reflection there off of the screen. But anyways, that's Kenshin, and you can see Watsuki's signature there. Pretty cool. And then here's an original uh, from the manga. So you get one from uh, Shonen Jump. And then I have uh, Masashi Kishimoto's uh, Jump For You. And you can see there's uh, Naruto there. And you open it up. 
and you can see Sasuke and Sakura there you, from the final uh, chapters. Okay, so this has the drawing tutorial of Masashi Kishimoto, and there's Naruto. So that's the one he does in the video. And then, yes, yes, guys, that's Itachi as Sasuke when he says, you know, uh, my dream is now in the past. You know, my you know when he wants to bring him back to the village, and we have the backstory of the Uchiha. So really cool. Okay, so that's pretty much my DVD collection. And other special collection. Um, now I do have other DVDs from Naruto. So, but this was my original collection. So if you guys want to take a look at that, I will show you what I what I had. So take a look. All right, so it's not in Korea, but that is a pretty cool thing. Okay, so more of my special collection. Uh, you have the Conan movie guide. The Conan movie guide, a pretty cool one. Uh, has the movies from Detective Conan in depth. Uh, guide, it's almost like a guide. So pretty cool. Okay, next one we have the art book from Naruto. Really cool, I like this uh, cover and the back cover as well. I'm not gonna show you everything. Okay, and then we have another art book. Kimi, uh, Kimi Noah. This is your name. Really cool visual guide. Uh, that's a rare one, by the way. You can see they're young there, but in the real one, they're older. So that's a cool one. Um, let's see, the Naruto Chronicle. I showed you guys this one already. This is another special collections. And let's see. Oh yes. Detective Conan, the the one of my favorites. Gosha Aoyama's The Complete Color Works, 1994 to 2015. 20 years of artwork. So I'll give you guys a look inside of what it looks like. So as you can see, you have some color. And that's kind of what it looks like on the inside. Pretty cool. Anyways, just a quick look. Don't want to keep this too long. Okay, next thing we have Full Metal Panic. Full Metal Panic. This is the anime mission. I really love this anime. It's more of a, a, a guide, so it's kind of like a data book almost. So I guess we can move on to data books now because I have a lot of them. So that's Full Metal Panic. Really cool one. Um, these are some special Naruto ones. These are actually quote books. So when you put them together, they're called Kizuna. Uh, the bonds. You can see right there. The bonds that bind Kizuna. And when you put them together, it makes a picture. So these are the quote books from Naruto. Pretty much the the memorable quotes from all the characters, all the memorable characters from the series. And a really neat one. It has an English and Korean, so a really neat one. That's Kizuna. So I collected that one. Um, okay, let's get to the data books because I have a lot of data books. Okay, here is D Gray Man. D Gray Man. I have the data book for D Gray Man. This has all 10 years. Uh, it's like the 10th year anniversary of D Gray Man. So it's got all the information, all the characters. Really cool stuff. It's even got color pages on the inside. Really neat. Uh, so yeah. Okay, next one, Naruto. Obviously, Naruto, Boruto. Uh, the movie. This is the data book for the movie. It's got the color chapter for the final chapter. Really cool. We got Bleach. Bleach Unmasked. That's another data book about the Espada. And it's got a bunch of the battles as well. Got the special backstory on Ukiora, which was really neat, by the way, and really sad. Uh, but yeah, really cool stuff. Oh, Bleach, uh, the anime. This is the Vibes edition. Okay, White Moon. And it's all about the anime. So the first 50 or so episodes, it's got some interviews and stuff about the series. So really cool one as well. This 
this was used as jump for you from Bleach, this, this uh, cover page right here, so it's pretty cool. On the inside, it's got a bunch of color pages, uh, I'm not going to show you them all, but yeah, it's got a bunch of them, and it's got all data from the, from, from the rest of the story, uh, not all the way to the, the final arc, though, but as we all know, the final arc was a bit, you know, <laughs> and it's got some other stuff like interviews and uh, artwork, basically postcards. It's got all 60 plus uh, volumes, and as you can see, they're all numbered. And basically, they're all postcards. So Kubo always uh, had words written, you know, there, and these are in Korean, by the way, but they're, they're always written there, but now you can send them to your friends, or family, or whatever. Uh, pretty cool collectible, and it's got a special illustration. Spine cover. It's got all the author's uh, notes from every volume. I mean, it's just unreal how much information this has. So, a really cool one. Kenshin. Okay, next one. We have Conan. Now, these are uh, basically a digest book. A go you can see the gold cover. Basically, volumes 61 to 70 are reviewed and they show a bunch of stuff they have interviews they have looking back at manga you know scans all you know discussion all types of stuff from conan if you're a conan lover you would love this uh collectible so that's uh 61 to 70. this one is 41 to 50 and they all are different so some of them have colored chapters as you can see uh, one of my This one is uh, 51, volume 51 to 60. You can see more stuff. It's even got a, a tutorial with Aoyama's drawings. Uh, stuff from the movie, interviews, more, more information. A lot of stuff. Really cool. So I have a bunch of them. This is 71 to 80. So really, if you have these, uh, you, you could probably do without the volume specifically because it goes over pretty much everything. But I like to collect, so I own this and the volume. Okay, now on to... Prince of Tennis, because Prince of Tennis has these small new Prince of Tennis data books now. There's all kinds of stuff, uh, color scans, all kinds of stuff. Really cool. And each one are different. So you have all the different captains. You can see Kunimitsu there. You got ones on uh, Ryoma and the Child of God. Uh, you know, Yukimura. And then you got one of Fuji. Really cool. A lot of information inside. And they're so tiny. Uh, so I was really surprised that these were at a decent price. So these are uh, detect, uh, sorry, uh, Prince of Tennis uh, data books. Small, by the way. 
All right, guys, moving right along, let's move on to the next section, which is colored manga. Yes, colored manga. I love colored manga, and I have quite a few in my collection. Now, I have a lot of Naruto and Bleach, but they're digital, so they're only online, uh, and you can buy them from Japan. I have several of them. In fact, I almost have the entire Naruto collection. So if you guys see some of those scans in my videos, that's where they're coming from. You can buy them. Uh, but yeah, uh, these are the actual ones you can buy in the stores. So my Dragon Ball collection. Okay, so let's take a look at Dragon Ball. So as you can see, this is the younger version of Goku. And you can see Master Roshi. This is Volume 3. This is when they're in the World Tournament. Yes, guys, the World Tournament. Very, very, and you can see Jackie Chun there. A lot of cool stuff. Uh, this is the World Tournament edition of the colored manga. So Akira Toriyama colored these himself. Uh, he's been busy, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot. Okay, the next one is also Dragon Ball, the original, when he was a kid. So this is the other World Tournament. Uh, not, not the other World Tournament, but the next World Tournament. So when he's uh, older, uh, almost... Uh, fully, you know, almost an adult. I think he's 17 or something like here. But he fights Tien. This is where he fights King Piccolo. Uh, Piccolo Jr., I mean. Uh, but yeah, th this one I really enjoyed. Uh, yeah. So anyways, this colored manga for Dragon Ball. And you can see there is Chi-Chi and Goku uh, when they get married. Okay. Okay, moving on. Now, more Dragon Ball. These are bigger, though. These are the Cell games. When I saw these, I had to pick them up, yo. This is the Cell games. So this is Volume 5 uh, of the Cell games. So this is obviously where Goku fights Cell. And these are much, much bigger. You can see much, much bigger. And these are in Japanese language, but they're still really cool, right? So you can see the entire story, and you can start to see there is Gohan uh, when Cell is fighting him. So that's Volume 5. Uh, volume 6 uh, is when he unleashes his power. Yo, Volume 6 is epic. I love Volume 6. Uh, probably one of my favorite scenes in all of Dragon Ball. Yo, look! at the awakening yo that's freaking epic i love this volume uh and i intend to make some videos on this uh, eventually with some some ost in the background because it's just too good not to uh but yeah a really cool one i really like the artwork as well the colorings uh just you know really cool stuff Okay, here's Majin Buu uh, arc. I'm not a huge fan of the Fat Buu, but I will say this is where Majin Vegeta and Goku fight, and he's first born. Majin Vegeta, uh, Majin Buu is born. So you can see Dabura there. Let's see. Yeah, there's Majin Vegeta fighting Goku. And then this is where uh, Buu is born, and he takes on Vegeta. Yo! And Vegeta sacrifices himself, right? Really awesome. Really awesome. Really awesome stuff. Anyways, uh, this has been a look at my Dragon Ball collection. Okay, here is Detective Conan. This is actually movie 7, and it's all in color. So the colored manga here is very popular, and especially in large editions. So you can see the entire movie. It's actually part of the movie. It's only part one of the movie, but it's still pretty cool how they have it all in color. Okay, that's Detective Conan. Uh, here's more Detective Conan. This is another movie. Uh, this is Lost Ship in the Sky, and again, this is only part of the movie, but it is in color as well. So, really cool to add to your Conan collection if you are a Conan fan. Okay, next one. This is Sunflowers of Inferno, uh, Detective Conan movie 19. So this is about Kaito Kid, obviously, stealing some rare artwork. And yeah, this is an awesome one. I really enjoy this one as well. It's kind of dark though, because a lot of stuff happens in the dark. So that's why it's hard to see. But anyways, really cool one. 
Uh, here's movie 18, The Dimensional Sniper. Yo, really awesome one as well. More colors. Uh, everything is better with color, right? Especially manga. Mm, yeah. Anyways, that is my colored manga collection. I have a lot, like I said. Okay, here are my uh, magazines. So this is uh, Champ Magazine in uh, Korea. There's actually a Champ, not a Jump. This is Champ. And this is uh, a rare one because it has Madara and Naruto and Sasuke in it. Uh, really cool. Uh, this one was interesting because it had it said Boruto and I was like okay so Boruto's first chapter is in here so I wondered if that's true or not so when I opened it it wasn't the first chapter but it was it was the the tuning exams and when Momoshiki attacks so you can start to see the battle here but it's large edition you can see it's large because it's the magazine but anyways this is just a look at what it looks like so when Naruto and Sasuke are fighting Momoshiki and you can see Sasuke there and Naruto goes wild so anyways that is my magazines okay next thing and now we're moving on to novels I know I put them in categories so it'd be easier for you to understand uh, novels because I have a lot of them I have Naruto I have a lot of different novels uh, I've already shown you a lot of my Naruto ones but we can look at them again okay so here are the ones that were actually a gift you can see Sasuke's uh, I'm sorry Itachi's story a midnight really awesome I just finished it so I plan to do a discussion soon uh, is really really good I really enjoyed it uh, yeah and then I will be starting Sasuke's story as well so these are the Viz editions and then I also have the Japanese edition so here is the Japanese one of Itachi's first one and then here's Sasuke's Raiko Hen and then here's Dark Knight for Itachi's second story part of the second story I also have Jiraiya's story this is the one about Naruto's tale the tale of Naruto uh, Jiraiya writing about the gutsy ninja really good one uh, this is the story about Mirai, Kakashi, and Guy. It is part of the Naruto, Boruto uh, universe. So, you know, the new generation. A really cool one. I'm, I'm going to read this uh, eventually. Okay. Now, I have read some of it, but not all of it. Okay, this is a Kenshin one. Now, this one is awesome because this one is written by Kaoru Kurosaki, who is the wife of Nobuhiro Watsuki, the original author of Kenshin. So, really good stuff. And it's not just a novel. It's got actual illustrations by Watsuki. So, another collaboration and a beautiful one at that because uh, they really do some incredible work together. So, uh, next thing... Let's move on. Oh, and by the way, you get a special poster when you buy that, because I showed you it earlier. Uh, here's Naruto the Last, the movie. Uh, this is the novel. So it's got some illustrations as well, but they're more from the movie. As you can see, uh, they're more like stills from the movie. I've shown you guys these before. You can see they're stills from the movie. Uh, there's Naruto, and here's Boruto... Uh, the movie by Kodaichi and Kishimoto and this one doesn't have uh, as much but it does have some scans as you can see from the movie just like the other one it does have some cool color pages at the front though and I've shared them before uh, really cool this is part of my Boruto collection so the last thing I'm gonna show you is Full Metal Panic's novels so this is volume 11 uh, from the Full Metal Panic, uh, you know, series, the novels. Uh, these are the original stories that so they actually haven't been animated yet. Uh, sadly, I heard that it's been delayed, so I'm not in any hurry to really, you know, read them just yet. Um, but I will eventually. I actually read Volume 9 uh, last, uh, I think last winter. Yeah, I read Volume 9 last winter, so I'm on Volume 10. But yeah, these are the final two 
volumes. I really like the artwork inside. I like the the look of the characters. I like the full story. But yeah, these are the final two volumes of Full Metal Panic. And hopefully, we get the new season uh, by the end of the year or beginning of next year. So. That's my entire collection, guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it wasn't too long. And I will see you guys in the next one.